Have you ever asked yourself how different religions perceive Allah? Is he the same God worshipped by other faiths or is he a different deity altogether? Let's address the elephant in the room. There's a misconception that Allah the God of Islam is a different entity from the God worshipped by Christians and Jews. Some even go as far as to claim that Allah is a moon god venerated by ancient Arab tribes. These assumptions however, veer widely off the mark. To begin with, the assertion that Allah is a different God from the one worshipped by Jews, Christians and even Jesus and his disciples is quite erroneous. In fact, the language spoken by Jesus Aramaic, referred to God as Allah or Allah. Today, Aramaic-speaking Christians continue to use this name for God in their worship. Even in the Syriac version of the New Testament known as the Peshitta Bible, Jesus refers to God as Allah. This underlines the reality that Allah is not a different God, but the same God revered by Christians and Jews. Furthermore, the claim that Allah is the moon God worshipped by ancient Arab tribes is also misguided. Islam, in its teachings, strictly forbids the worship of anything other than Allah, including celestial bodies like the sun and the moon. The Quran, in Surah Fusilat, verse 37, clearly states, Among his signs are the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. Do not prostrate to the sun and the moon, but prostrate to Allah, who created them, if it is him ye wish to serve. This verse unequivocally discredits the allegation that Allah is a moon god. In a nutshell, the misconceptions surrounding the Islamic god, Allah, are largely unfounded. The belief that Allah is an entity separate from the god of Christians and Jews, or that he is a moon god, is far from the truth. So, the next time you hear these misconceptions, you'll be well equipped to debunk them, as we will see, these misconceptions couldn't be further from the truth. In Islam, Allah is not just any God, He is the supreme being, the creator of everything and everyone. Allah the Almighty is recognized not only as the God of Muslims, but also of all prophets, including Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. Peace be upon them all. Let's delve deeper into the concept of Allah in Islam. His attributes are numerous, embodying His grace, mercy, knowledge and power. Allah is referred to as most gracious and most merciful, a testament to his boundless compassion and forgiveness. His all-knowing nature signifies his omniscience, understanding all that has happened, all that is happening, and all that will happen. His all-powerful attribute underlines his supreme authority and ability to do anything he wills. It also reinforces the Islamic belief in monotheism, the worship of one God. The concept of Allah is not confined to a physical entity or image, his existence and essence are beyond human comprehension. He is not bound by time or space and cannot be divided into parts or persons. In Islam, Allah does not require human sacrifice to forgive sins. His nature is inherently loving and forgiving. He does not demand suffering for the forgiveness of others. This rejection of human sacrifice is a clear departure from some ancient pagan traditions. Therefore, Allah in Islam is the one and only God who is beyond the comprehension of human beings. He is the same God worshipped by Christians and Jews, and his essence is one of love, mercy, and supreme power. But what about Christianity and Judaism? How do these religions perceive Allah? Let's delve into this fascinating exploration. In Christianity a prevalent belief is that God requires human sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins. This notion however finds its roots not in authentic religious texts but in ancient pagan traditions. On the contrary, Islam posits that Allah, the most gracious and most merciful, does not necessitate suffering or sacrifice for absolution. His boundless love and forgiveness are inherent to his divine nature. Now, let's turn our attention to Judaism. In this faith God is considered so exalted and powerful that he cannot be visualized or comprehended. This concept aligns seamlessly with Islam's view of Allah's invisibility and inconceivability. Furthermore, Judaism also adheres to the belief in an omnipotent and omniscient God, attributes well acknowledged in Islam's depiction of Allah. Intriguingly, the name Allah has the same root in both Arabic and Hebrew, Allah and Eloah, respectively. This suggests that Muslims, Jews, and even Arabic-speaking Christians all worship the same God, further bridging the gap between these faiths. However, a significant divergence arises when we consider Christianity's doctrine of the Trinity, the belief that God manifests as three distinct entities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This belief is viewed as blasphemous in both Islam and Judaism which uphold the unshakable belief in the oneness of God. Allah in Islam is indivisible and cannot be parsed into separate entities. Judaism shares this belief in monotheism, further aligning it with Islamic theology. So, interestingly, from a theological perspective, 
Jews and Muslims have more in common than Jews and Christians. Both faiths uphold the absolute unity and singularity of God, a concept that diverges from the Christian doctrine of the Trinity. This common understanding of God's nature unites Jews and Muslims, illuminating shared beliefs that span centuries and continents. So, what have we learned about the concept of Allah in Islam, Christianity and Judaism? We've unraveled that Allah, the one true God, is acknowledged not only in Islam but also in Christianity and Judaism. Despite varying interpretations and beliefs, the core essence remains. Allah is the supreme being, the creator of everything and everyone. In Islam, Allah is inherently merciful and forgiving, negating the need for human sacrifice. Remarkably, the name Allah finds its roots in both Arabic and Hebrew, a testament to the shared worship across these religions. We've debunked the false claim of Allah being a moon god, a misconception stemming from ancient Arab tribes. The belief in Allah's invisibility and beyond human comprehension is a shared concept between Islam and Judaism. However, the Christian concept of the Trinity contrasts with the Islamic and Jewish belief in a singular, indivisible God. It's clear that despite the misconceptions, Allah is not a different God but the same God worshipped by Muslims, Christians and Jews alike.